What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening to my dumb ass. Like and subscribe. So, I could have swore I had said something about something. Something about something. I had said something about um, PlayStation taking the games off of 177, uh, the, the stores of 177 countries where PSN isn't uh, supported, isn't available. I said that uh, about two or three videos ago, right? My question was, now that they have gone back on their requirement of PSN, have they put those games, put the game back on those stores in those territories? Seems like the answer is no. And also, it seems like their next game, the director's cut of Ghost of Tsushima, Tsushima, is not going to be available in those countries either. So I'm like, okay, wait, wait, wait. So they knew this policy was going into effect. They sold all these games, and then they had to take them away. I think they gave refunds. I'm not actually, actually sure if they did. I'm not sure, actually. I hope they did. Anyway, uh, and now they're not selling in those regions if PSN isn't available. That is so dumb because, look, I don't know if Xbox does it. If they do, it's dumb too. I don't, who knows? But the point is, I thought Sony wanted to make money. I thought Sony wanted to, you know, sell some games. Obviously, they don't. Obviously, I guess it's all about engagement and, and MAU, right? Uh, as something active users. <laughs> It's about active users, right? It wasn't about that. Oh, no. The point is it's not unicorns that have you believe, oh, it's about console sales, and that's it. Not even about game sales. Well, it's about game sales when the numbers are high, but when it's not high, we don't talk about that. See, the whole console war thing with the donkey unicorns and the ponies, those delusional guys, is that what they believe and what they want is antithetical to what Sony wants, what the uppers that Sony want, what the businessmen want. Business, the businessmen want money. They want engagement. They want mad people playing their game so they can pros possibly sell them more stuff. That's what they want. It's not about, oh, we want to sell the most consoles and then sell the most games and have that the only metric that only count. That doesn't even matter. They could sell zero consoles and sell zero games and have the most engagement and have the most players and make the most money. That is what they want. They don't care how they get the most money. They just want the most money. And they tried to shoehorn with their old antiquated business model a way to make the most money by increasing all the prices, obviously. But that's not working anymore. Obviously, it's not working anymore because, you know, you know, you lost the 10 billion, blah, blah, blah. Don't talk to me about market cap. The point is they lost money because of their business model. Not because, oh, they didn't sell a lot. of. Well, I mean, they didn't. But still, they lost money. And you're like, market cap, well, look, market cap or revenue doesn't matter. Money is money. A dollar is a dollar here or a dollar here. All right? So if you, if you lose $10 billion here, that's the worth of your company. Yes, your, your, your profits are still whatever they are and your budgets are still whatever they are, possibly. But what happens well, you know, I think we're gonna, you know, we're not worth as much. You know, the shareholders are sitting there looking at their, their stock, and they're like, "Why is my stock look like hot trash garbage?" Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Sony's. I said deceitful. They're being deceptive and stuff. Somebody clapped back me in uh, in the comments saying, "Well, how did how are they deceitful or whatever?" And I'm like, because they didn't tell the customers that they were going to do this. From the jump, they didn't say, okay, it's going to be a PSN requirement sign up, but we're going to implement that later. They didn't say that. They just said, shh, let's just sell as many as we can so we get that high number, and then we spring it on them. And then they did that before. Did they do that before? Who did that before? It was Sony with uh, Grand, GT, GT7, uh, Grand, Tur uh, Grand Turismo. Uh, they didn't have the microtransactions when the preview was up for all the, the, the previews, the... the um, the, the media and stuff. So they they freaking 
scored the game based off of no microtransactions, and then a week later, after the game is out, they put the microtransactions in. Game is hot trash garbage. But no, they got all the high scores because that wasn't part of the game. Deceitful Sony. Does that ring a bell? Does that sound like it's above board? No, it doesn't. It sounds like somebody's trying to get over on you. Once again, Sony's trying to get over on you. Now, some people are like, well, I got PSN in my, in my neighborhood, in my region, so I don't care. That's not the point. The point is they have the ability to sell these games across the globe on PCs that can run them everywhere. 177 territories they, they could have and could and did sell. And they can still do that. Why aren't they? That's the question. Why aren't they? You know? And so is it like, oh, if they get the PSN sign up, they get the email, and then they get money because they can sell that information to a third party, blah, blah, blah. That's a possibility. I mean, I don't think Sony's using that information for anything. But they, if they have that database, they can sell it and make money off of that. So remember, when you're talking about Sony, when you're talking about Xbox, when you're talking about Microsoft, when you're talking about Apple, when you're talking about Nintendo, it's all about money. Ultimately. Especially Sony right now. I mean, Microsoft, yes, they've always been that way. Uh, now it's a little different because of uh, the APK deal and they're like, we're making all this money. We got to make the rest of our portfolio and studios kind of be like this too. Not like exactly like that because that's ridiculous. But, you know, got to ship up and shape out basically. Anyway, it's, it's, look, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it throughout the years. The Sony is like, is really not a good company when it comes to customer service. I was just listening to, um, this is a tangent, but I was listening to uh, Gamer Nexus. I like Gamer Nexus. I like Steve because he's got the same name and it's cool. But um, Gamer Nexus was like, yo, they were dealing with Asus. They had uh, they had the raw guy lie and they're like, oh, the, the stick drift, the, the, the left stick doesn't work anymore and the SD card reader doesn't work or whatever, right? So he sent it in. They sent it in. And uh, Asus was like, yo. <laughs> Asus was trying to get them. They were like, oh, yeah, you got to replace the screen and we got to do this. We got to do that. And I'm like, man, and I used to like Asus. I had, a, I had the uh, RX 78, RX 70, RX 480. I had that. That's a cool little graphics card. I'm like, man, not, I don't even want to deal with Asus anymore. So I'll probably just do straight up uh, AMD or whatever. I, well, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not even thinking about the PCs right now, to be honest. But the point is poor customer service, really bad. And the fact that they were so diligent and they weren't like some okie doke customer who doesn't know and would have paid the $200 for a little crazy little, little itty bitty, not even a scratch on the plastic part. And they say, oh, we got to replace this. And we, we have to replace the whole screen. I'm like, y'all are full of shite. That's what y'all are. They didn't even, they didn't even say nothing about the, the problems that, anyway. That reminded me of Sony. That reminded me of the shenanigans and the things that Sony is trying to get away with. You know, and and Jeff Grubb said it. They're going to do whatever they can do to get... They will get away with what they can get away with. Like this whole uh, Helldivers thing with the sign-up. If nobody said nothing, they would have been like, all right, it's cool. But all the PC gamers said, nah, B, nope. And they, they, they're they not getting away with it. And that's what's up. And everybody's hailing the PC, yeah, PC gamers. And some people are like, oh, PC crybabies. And they're like, well, how are you going to defend Sony over gamers first? Are you, do you work for Sony or something? Is that what it is? Because it doesn't make sense to me if, you know, Corporation A is trying to get over. And I still, I still, I mean, I get the, the getting the, uh, the PSN numbers up, but that doesn't, it, how they went about it was so bass backwards. I was listening to Oh No, It's Alex, and he was he was going in on him. And he, you know, he exaggerates and stuff. But still, the thing he was saying was pretty much on point. And I'm like, yo, how? You know, think, think. I, th I try to think about these corporations. But at the same time, I'm thinking that people have sense. They don't, they're in a different mindset than I am. Because I'm not. I'm not like an, an entrepreneurial mind all the time or not much at all. I'm more of an artist, an artistic mind, right? So I'm not always thinking about how I'm going to make money. How am I going to flip this to make money to flip? How am I going to flip this paper clip to get a Ferrari? You've seen the video, right? How am I going to do that? 
I'm not thinking about that. Though that's more of a, I don't think that's entrepreneurial. That's more of a, I was going to say con man, but not really a con man. It's just, a, I don't know, it's a different game. But I can't, I can't put myself in that mindset because that's not who I am, right? So these guys who are only, only concerned with making money, that's what I have to realize. And that's what I have to try to understand. And then when I see that, then I can say, oh, yeah, a suit made, a corporal made that decision because it just it just makes sense. They, they have no reference. They have no frame of reference of, oh, I'm a game because they're not gamers. It's just like Jim Ryan. He wasn't a gamer. He's gone now. All these other corporal people are up there. They're not gamers. Right. Satya Nadella is not a gamer. So I've heard I mean, I, I keep hearing anecdotally that, oh, Phil Spencer, there's some kind of stuff growing between him and Satya, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, look, well, I would say yes, because Sa- once again, Satya is not a gamer. So he's like, cloud, money, let's go. Let's make this money. As long as you get that money, keep it coming in, Phil, let's go. It feels like I'm a gamer. I don't want to, I don't want to fire nobody. I want everybody to make the best game, blah, blah, blah. If it was up to him, everybody would be working. Everybody would be making games. But the reality of the situation, the reality of the industry is that that can't happen because the the lower producers the lesser producers will drag everyone else down and that's not that's not healthy that's not that's not conducive of a growing business or something a healthy business and they microsoft want gaming to be their gaming business to be healthy and also gaming as a whole because without gaming they have no business you know and that's the main thing i really don't get about sony sony is like so blind and dumb that they would pull something like, you know, the corporals would say, oh, let's just make them all sign up. We get all those money, the, the numbers of money. Yay, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, Jeffrey. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to go tell the big balls. Sir, I think we should. Mr. Flanagan. There's no CEO Flanagan. Mr. Totoki. We should do this. And he's like, oi, 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 oi. I saw only Japanese. Uh, and then the backlash comes and, you know, the rest is history. <clears throat> but at the same time, Sony never put the games back on the stores in those regions, right? So that tells me that they're not interested in anyone who's not signing up on PSN. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Because people are going to buy their games on Steam. Period. If they're on PC, Steam, that's it. Unless you do some magic where if you sign up for Steam and you have a PS, I can't, it's, it's, it's kind of impossible to do anything automatic like that, right? Uh, they have to opt into it, you know? And only people who are doing that are ponies and donkey unicorns. Not, not PC players. PC players are like, why would I play? I don't even have a PlayStation. Why would I make a PlayStation? That- why? And that's Sony trying to inflate their numbers. They're trying to inflate their numbers with PC gamers. Not PlayStation gamers. PC gamers. How is that going to help you? That doesn't help their business, how it's set up. Oh, we want to sell PlayStations. PC gamers aren't going to buy PlayStations. They're going to buy PC games. If your games are on PC, excuse me. If your games are on PC, they might buy them if it's a good game. If you force them to sign up for PSN, they're not going to buy your game. They're going to steal your game. They're going to pirate your game. The thing that you're trying to avoid is what they're going to do because you're forcing them to do something that they don't want to do. PC is a different environment than console. It's a different environment from PlayStation. It's a different environment from Xbox, although it's closer, but it's still different. It's not, it's not going to... Sony doesn't have... They don't have... They don't have the right mentality as far as understanding. Like, you saw the response. They were like, oh, we're sorry. We're trying to do the best we can understand. PC gamers, like, they're new at this. They've been making video games for how many years? 20, 30, 59 million years. More. They've been making video games longer than Xbox. And they're sitting here with this with this sophomoreish apology. Oh, we're sorry. We're trying to learn how to better serve PC gamers. It's like, 
if y'all don't know, then y'all need to learn. Y'all need to hire somebody who knows. I, anyway, it doesn't matter. Appreciate you coming back. Like, so hit me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about Sony being deceptive. Yes, I said it. Uh, you know, them not putting the games back on those marketplaces that they took it down from. Those 177 territories. What's up with that? I thought they wanted to make some money and sell some games. Obviously not. I don't know what what is the what is the what is the thought process behind that? That's what I'm wondering. You know. And uh, whatever. It's, 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 anyway, I appreciate you. And I catch y'all on the next one.